dear students today i want to discuss the significance of groups in chemistry the groups of the periodic table of course until class 10 you have studied how one atom combines with another atom how and why a sodium atom combines with chlorine atom sodium loses an electron chlorine gains an electron to get their octets the importance is getting an octet until class 10 but at your level at intermediate level we study how a molecule reacts with another molecule or why a molecule reacts with another molecule for example ammonia nitrogen has the octet it has got all the eight electrons so if ammonia is reacting with another molecule you should know why it is reacting with another molecule why do you think it is reacting with another molecule in ammonia the central atom nitrogen has got a lone pair and because of the lone pair the bond pairs face a lot of repulsion and the structure of ammonia the shape of ammonia i mean it experiences a bond strain there so in order to get rid of that lone pair it donates that lone pair to somebody who is in need of a pair of electrons say a h plus ion or boron trifluoride which is electron deficient boron trifluoride bf3 it has just 3 plus 3 6 electrons even after bonding it has got less than 8 electrons therefore the the troubles faced by molecules or whatever a molecule requires we study in groups and that will decide how a particular molecule or how a particular element behaves in a particular situation the behavior of elements and compounds is discussed only in groups especially in inorganic chemistry we discuss the behavior boron trifluoride always wants a pair of electrons it is in need of pair of electrons because it is electron deficient so it is called a lewy acid so what you study in a topic called ionic equilibrium the theories of acids and bases the reason lies in groups the reason lies in inorganic chemistry and especially uh, uh, the groups the group 5a 6a 7a which you have at senior intermediate level plus 2 level they are all very significant not just a part of inorganic but they form a part of organic and they form a part of uh, Uh, physical chemistry also why suppose cobalt 3 plus ion is there six ammonias come in contact with that form a complex called hexamine cobalt 3 there you should know why is ammonia donating it is called a ligand in coordination compounds it is called a ligand and why is ammonia donating a pair of electrons we have already just told that is to get rid of the lone pair to move from pyramidal to tetrahedral so why atoms and molecules and compounds behave the way they do the reason lies only in groups only in inorganic chemistry inorganic chemistry forms a basis for the whole chemistry ammonia acts as a nucleophile what is a nucleophile you what you study in organic what is a nucleophile which which interacts with uh, partial positive charge on carbon why does ammonia interact with partial positive charge same reason ammonia wants to get rid of a lone pair so where do you learn that ammonia has indeed got a lone pair of course you learn that in chemical bonding and you learn the same again in groups also so the behavior of molecules h2o2 hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide is used as an antiseptic it uh, it kills bacteria why and how it kills bacteria hydrogen peroxide you have an oxygen oxygen single bond which is a very weak bond because of four lone pairs present on both of the oxygens they face the two oxygen atoms face tremendous repulsion therefore the oo bond is weak since the oo bond is weak the oxygen atom is easily given out so a substance which contains a peroxy bond easily gives out that oxygen atom therefore bacteria dies of oxygen whereas we live of oxygen bacteria dies of oxygen so all these things the stable electronic configuration the stable geometry 
the stable bonds, all these things we study in groups only. Therefore, without groups, without p block, without inorganic chemistry, the rest of chemistry cannot be understood easily because it forms the basis. You must have heard about aniline, aniline, a molecule in which NH2 is uh, placed on a benzene ring, NH2 is on benzene ring and that NH2 releases a pair of electrons to the benzene ring and thus activates the benzene ring. The question is why does it release the pair of electrons? The same reason. Ammonia donates a pair of electrons to get rid of a lone pair. Even in NH2 there is a lone pair. So, molecules with lone pair in the central atom, they behave the same wherever they are, not necessarily on benzene, their behavior is unique. They have a unique behavior. Unlike we human beings, we may have so many troubles, but elements and molecules, their uh, trouble is only one, they face only one trouble. Once that is clear, they actually, uh, I mean, they become spectators, they do not react further on. So, the moment ammonia donates its lone pair of electrons to become uh, uh, tetrahedral, uh, you can say ammonium ion is less reactive. So, that uh, amino group on benzene releasing a pair of electrons and uh, activating the benzene ring which is called plus M effect, mesomeric effect. What you study in organic, the basis is formed, found only in groups. Ammonia is a Lewy base. Who is a Lewy base? One who donates a pair of electrons. So, ammonia acts as a nucleophile. So, the nucleophile plus some effect in organic and uh, uh, ability to donate a pair of electrons and acting as a Lewy base in ionic equilibrium theories of acid base in physical chemistry. And so, so many things we study only in groups. For example, all non-metal atoms, all non-metal atoms, for example, like sulfur, phosphorus, nitrogen, all of them want to form as many bonds as possible. Why? To get rid of lone pairs. They want to get rid of their lone pairs. Therefore, they want to form as many bonds as possible. That is why sulfite SO3 2 minus, SO3 2 minus, sulfur has a lone pair. If you look at it carefully, sulfide sulfur is in plus 4 oxidation state and sulfur has a lone pair. Therefore, most of the reaction sulfite wants to become sulfate by losing two more electrons. We just study that sulfite acts as a reducing agent and the reason lies in groups, the reason lies in inorganic chemistry. Sulfite is a reducing agent, it loses electrons that you do in a uh, while balancing reactions SO3 2 minus becomes SO4 2 minus and the change in oxidation state is plus 4 to plus 6 plus 2. Why, why, does it, why, why does sulfate want to become sulfate? That reason lies because of the effect of lone pairs. So, how can a molecule which has 